Hello, my name is Penny and this is Penny's Art Emporium. And as you can see, I have got lots of beautiful colours out today. They are all blues and greens and teals. I've got some golds and I've also got some lovely pastel shades and some of the pearl colours that I like to use. Uh, I've got a 30 centimetre square canvas and I'd like to do one of my balloon dip paintings and I'd like it to be really like an enchanted forest um, and a completely different colour palette so it'll be interesting to see how that works with blues really and teals. Um, I've I've got a little bit of purple as a contrast because I think it will just help to warm it a little bit and lots of lovely golds. Um, so I will put this onto high flaps for you and we'll see how that goes. As you can see, I've already put my white base down on half of the painting and now I'm adding my pearl colours, uh, which will be beautiful and shine in the light and then these are the more pastel colours that I'm adding and I'm making the kind of shape that I want the painting to be. So these are lovely pastel colours in the middle there and with my balloon I'm just blending all those beautiful colours together. So you can see it's kind of like a crescent shape, much lighter towards the top and then that centre has got those colours that I've just added in the greens and blues and yellows. And now I'm going to add lots of beautiful metallic greens. These are mostly metallic colours that I'm putting on now. I'm just building up the shape. And some nice teal colours, sea green, some silver going on there. A little bit of banana yellow. Bit of pistachio by Arteza, some 24 karat gold by Deco Art. That's titanium gold going on there, and some copper, which is much deeper and richer, and some champagne gold. So you can see all those beautiful colours. Some nice canary yellow and some chartreuse green and then that one is a really dark phalo green at the bottom and I'm just blending all those colours now with my balloon and you can see the edges at the top they always come out really nicely when they blend with that white paint and of course towards the bottom here we don't have any of the white paint in there that didn't have a base down already. So these colours are just blending together. And I have to be really careful when I blend it that I don't just make them really muddy because you still want to be able to see all those beautiful colours coming through when it's dry, not all just merged together completely. And I've put a much darker edge round with the phalo green. I've got a nice mix of my water balloons and my big air balloons and these are my sticks and I'm just again making a shape of how I want the painting to be. I want the painting to kind of head towards the middle so the edges are raised and then that centre will be the focal point. And here I'm just trying because I want to add some white flowers. So I'm just putting some white on and a little bit of dark just to make some flower shapes with a gold centre just to see how that goes amongst the colours that are already here. And I'm just experimenting. I haven't tried this before because this is completely different with the colours that I've got. So I just thought I'd see how they all work out. You can see how that looks and I just decide that I'm not really keen on that. So uh, I am just going to take those off again. And I'll try a little bit with my stick but 
I don't really think it's working. So I just take them off completely now with my palette knife. And that's the really great thing about this type of painting. With the fluid art, you can just remove the bits quite quickly that you don't want on there anymore. And then they're just gone and you can add something different. So now I'm just going to add some greens instead to make up some leaves. And again, with my balloons, just make some nice pretty shapes. And I'll add some more flowers on a little bit later. And I think that colour's looking much better. I didn't like the dark on the white flowers. Just making some more shapes. So you can see my balloons there in the background. And this is a lovely little balloon I made from the finger of a glove. And I'm just adding some purple now. Just little tiny bits of purple. I don't want a lot of purple and I don't want it to be too prominent. It will be there, but it will be just very, very subtle. And now I will just be adding lots of different shapes and just playing around with my sticks and my balloons and my palette knives, adding some shapes. So I will let you continue watching that and we'll see that when it is finished. So here is this painting. It's been drying quite nicely for probably about an hour to an hour and a half. And uh, you can see that the edges are already looking quite dry and looking very pretty with the metallic colours in there. And then the centre is still quite wet and you can just see those pearl colours and the very light pastel colours that I put towards the top, which will look really pretty when the painting is all dry. And there's some really sweet little features. I made a little butterfly just there. 
and another one just there and that looks a little bit like a butterfly but I didn't do any more to that particular one and then I just added a little bit of white just to lighten it up a little bit at the bottom but I think when it dries I think those metallic paints will make it feel quite a bit lighter and all in all it will be quite a light painting because there's a lot of it that is very light in colour. So I'll let you see that when it is dry and it should look quite interesting. So here is this painting. It's dried really nicely and I'm very happy with it. I think those colours do look really nice together. A completely different colour palette for me to use. I did enhance these little white flowers at the bottom just a little bit because I wanted them to stand out as they were quite prominent towards the front of the painting. You can see all those beautiful colours in there. I think that little bit of purple just works well with the blues and the golds. And all those lovely little swirly balloon dips towards the top. And here is a little butterfly, looking very pretty. And the top is very subtle, as you can see, but it just has lovely features to it. And then there's another little butterfly there. And that, I think, is really pretty. It's a kind of a butterfly. <laughs> so that is what it looks like in this light. And I'm going to turn it slightly because I have got a light over here. And then you can just see how in a different light all those beautiful metallic colours just come out and catch the light, which is what I always like to do with my paintings. I just like to have that mix of different colours with the matte and the metallics. I just love the way they all shine in the light. I just think they look really, really pretty. And I did do my edges as well, which again, I always like to do. There, so there it is. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.